Hello and welcome to Our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 190. We woke up this morning very excited because it is room change day yet again, but not just excited because of that, excited because of where we are going. We are leaving Caribbean Beach and we're going over to Coronado Springs to the brand new Grand Destino Tower that opens today. So we got everything all packed up and we called Bell Services to come and get all of our bags and transfer those over. And then we took our couple carry-ons we had with us over to the front of the resort and called an Uber to take us over to Coronado Springs. Once we got there, we went in the brand new entrance that they have, the Grand Destino Tower. First time seeing this. And once we got in the lobby, the place was just beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. There were cast members around doing check-in with iPads and at the desk and we ran into one of the managers just so happened as we were going to check in and they said, oh, you're club level. That's super exciting because this is the first moderate resort that has club level. Today's the first day it's open and they said, would you like us to take you up to the lounge or do you want to go to your room first? And I was like, well, let's go ahead and go to the room first and just put our bags yeah. down we don't need to do a room tour or anything we'll do that a little later i'm excited to see the tower i'm excited to see club level mm -hmm. and i'm excited to get some food from club level so the manager showed us around there in the lobby on the way to the elevator showed us some of the artwork that was there and explained how this tower was inspired by salvador dali and walt disney's collaboration they did way back in this short that they made called Destino. And of course there was a piece of artwork there representing mm -hmm. that short, a great little film they were showing there in the lobby, but we didn't take time to watch it at this point because we're excited to go see the room and see club level. We made our way over to the elevator, which is really fancy. It has like mm -hmm. all these special buttons and tells you where to go. It actually has instructions on how to use it. So if that tells you how impressive this elevator is, it's really confusing at first, and so mm -hmm. we did actually have to watch the instructions to know what we were doing. We then made it up to our room, and our room was beautiful. We had an amazing view, tons of space in this room because it's a deluxe suite, and so we have plenty of space to spread mm -hmm. out in here, lots of areas to work because it has all these little desk areas. So we're very excited about that, but of course we're not interested in working at this moment because we're gonna go check out the food at Kronos Club. We got up to the lounge and we're so impressed with how big this lounge is. Mm -hmm. Plenty of seating. It has a beautiful view because it's so high up in the building. So we were able to see Hollywood Studios, which is really awesome. We're very curious to see what fireworks we can see from up here. Mm -hmm. The decorations in the lounge are beautiful. They had a lot of candy, which I thought was hilarious. So we are very excited to grab some chocolates here and there. Plenty of candy for everyone to enjoy. There's a little kid station where they can watch TV, play some games and there are hidden mickeys all over this lounge just like there are throughout the entire resort here it's so amazing just how many places they can put hidden mickeys that was something we noticed when we first walked in but we didn't take time to look for them we figured we could check out the club level lounge get some food and then go explore the resort mm -hmm. and the new tower and try to find some of those hidden mickeys that they told us are literally everywhere in this resort they had plenty of food there in the club level lounge around lunchtime but it was not like heavy food it was yeah. more snack type items which is pretty typical for club level they had veggies and they had chips and they had these little pb and J crustini that were actually not peanut butter, they were sun butter and they were banana instead of jelly. So I guess it was not PB&J at, at all. all, but it was kind of the equivalent of PB&J they had for the kids there. I had several of them because they were actually really good. I've never had sun butter before, but apparently I like it. There was also a nice display case of cookies. So of course we had to have a few of those and they had those really awesome kind bars. This was probably the most filling thing they had for lunch. So we did have a couple of these each. There were also some board games in this lounge, which was really exciting because mm -hmm. if it does end up raining, we know where we're gonna go. They had cards, tic-tac-toe, Scrabble, and chess, all of which were really, really nice games. So we're definitely gonna have to go play some of those at some point. I feel like everything from the silverware to the decor here and even the board games and things, it just all feels so fancy, mm -hmm. which is interesting because we're at a moderate resort that has club level, which is strange in and of itself, but everything just feels over the top, elegant and extravagant here in the lounge, which is really cool, but also not what I was expecting. Once we were done checking out the lounge, we did head back to our room. We've decided now is a good time to go ahead and do that room tour. So we recorded a full 
room tour to post up on Facebook later. And that barn door leads you in here to the master suite. Now the master suite TV is the same smart TV as the other one in the other room. So you do have all the same features on there, which is really cool. You have a king size bed, which you may or may not have been able to see is raised up. So you do have storage space underneath there. You also have a couple USB outlets built into these lamps that are on either side of the bed. So you do have USB outlet options there. And if you'd like to watch that entire tour, it is linked down in the description and up there in the corner. When we got to the room to do the tour, we found a little card there with a pin for opening day of Grand Casino Tower, which is a really cool souvenir to have, especially since we collect pins. We took it downstairs to take a picture of it outside of the tower, just to get a really cool picture of that. And then we started exploring the resort, mm -hmm. looking at all the different details. And everything here is just so pretty. From the very moment you walk in the lobby and you've got this beautiful display of lamps on your left and right, to the atrium area where you have these beautiful pendant lights hanging down and little hidden Mickeys kind of all over the place. The seating down below with Barcelona Lounge. Absolutely beautiful tower. It doesn't feel like a moderate resort when you're here at all. The artwork is beautiful. Our favorite piece is the piece in the lobby with Walt Disney himself and Mickey Mouse. It is just gorgeous. And that one is not a hidden Mickey, but <laughs> we still really like it. But truly, there are hidden Mickeys everywhere you walk in this resort. Behind Bell Services, outside in the decor out there on the building, everywhere we went, we just kept finding hidden Mickeys, which makes this even more amazing. Of course, it's a gorgeous resort to see everything there, but to find hidden Mickeys and be looking everywhere you go to find more of them just makes it even more fun. As we continued wandering through the tower, just exploring everything, we found the fitness center. They already have one fitness center over in Casitas, but now we have a second one here mm -hmm. in the tower. Brand new state-of-the-art equipment, beautiful fitness center. Absolutely love this and looking forward to using it because it's a little hot to be running outside mm -hmm. So you can use the treadmills and stuff here in the fitness center a lot nicer in the air conditioning We also went downstairs and found the boardroom which was open for people to see a great little meeting space there If you're having a small conference meeting mm -hmm. of some kind So I really like that of course the conference we're hosting here at Coronado We're gonna have a few more people than would fit in there. Otherwise, it'd be a great option we kept on walking because we were really curious what they were doing with the old check-in area that used to be at the other part of the lobby. So we headed over there and turns out they haven't done anything with it at all, but it's very creepy almost because it's such a huge check-in area and with nothing being there, it's just this huge empty space. So we're very interested to see what they end up using it for, mm -hmm. but we just kept walking around the resort because we love walking around Coronado Springs anyway. It's a beautiful resort. So we walked around, it's a very nice day. And then on our way back to the tower, we were almost there and we found the new campfire site, which means we have a place to have s'mores. I'm very excited about this. I don't know when s'mores are, but you better believe we're gonna be there when they have them. Then we headed back up to the club level lounge because mm -hmm. it's getting very close to dinner time. We're not actually gonna eat much while we're there for dinner because we do have a dinner reservation tonight at the brand new restaurant that just opened here in the tower up at the top. So we went up to the club level lounge to check out all the different foods they had and they had a bunch of different things. They had a huge assortment of breads, including some little butters to go on it that had Mickey Mouse on them that were super cute. Of course. And they had lots of different cheeses and meats as well. They had vegetables and they had some fruit. They also had lots of little hors d'oeuvres out there. My favorite was the Serrano ham with tomato jam. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminded me of what we had over at Haleo a little while ago. They also had some more substantial items like a blended burger slider, which was kind of like a mushroom vegan plant-based option. Wasn't really a big fan of that one, but that's okay because I'm not trying to fill up anyway. They had some meatballs and again, the meatballs were plant-based. That was different as well. Very similar to the burger as far as texture. And again, I wasn't a big fan of that. And they also had some mussels and the mussels were actually pretty good, but again, not trying to fill up. We just wanted to taste a few things because we are going to be going to dinner in just a couple hours. So we didn't want to be too full when we go up there. As we were finishing up our food, the friends we were with and the ones we're actually going to dinner with here shortly went over and introduced us to someone who was there in the lounge. Apparently they've met before, but we haven't met. It was Lynn Testa from Touring Plans and also from his podcast. 
And I had never met him before in person. Yeah. I honestly didn't know what he looked like in person because I've read his articles. And of course we use touring plans to check out rooms and stuff, but I've never seen him. And so we met and started talking and he and I wound up sitting there talking for like two hours, just sitting there in the club level lounge, mm -hmm. talking about what it's been like to live at Disney World. He was asking questions. I was asking him questions. Just a great conversation and a super, super nice guy. Now, while we were talking, Alyssa and her sister did need to get ready for dinner. So yep. they headed back to the room to get ready. And Lynn and I just kept talking. And eventually he said, well, I know you've got to go to dinner, but why don't I have you on my podcast? I'd love to have you as a guest on there. Just email me and we'll get a time figured out that works for both of us and we'll have you in. And I was like, okay, that'd be really cool because I've listened to several episodes of his podcast before. I enjoy it. And it was really fun to meet him, especially since I had no idea who he was until I walked up and he introduced himself. We headed up to the top floor to meet our friends there for dinner at Toledo, which we are so excited about. We've heard very good things from the cast members here today. They said the food is amazing. And because there's so many of us, that means we can order a lot of different things and try a bunch of different options tonight, which is always really fun because when you have friends or family with you, you don't have to try just a couple items like when it's just the two of us, we actually get to try a variety of things. And especially with this being a new restaurant, we're very excited about that. I started everything off with a hibiscus mint lemonade. It was really refreshing. It was made with Odwalla, so very similar to a lot of other lemonades they have around property. Mm -hmm. And when we started to order our food, we realized we were going to be ordering a lot of food because almost everything on the menu is tapas style. So there's lots and lots and lots of small dishes that are very shareable. And we're really excited to have five people here so we can share lots of food. We started things off with the small tapas sampler that they offered, and we just got one of each of the six items. It came out presented in a really pretty way on these wine bottles that have been kind of mm -hmm. crushed flat. That's so cool. It was really cool looking, great presentation. Some of these we loved, some like the one with anchovies, not so much but we all just kind of took a small bite of this just to sample the flavors. I think of all of them, the pepper that was stuffed with cheese mm -hmm. was our favorite, which worked out well because that was also one of the appetizers that we ordered. It was goat cheese stuffed peppers. They were delicious. Absolutely love those. We ordered several other appetizers and Unfortunately, we also ordered entrees, not thinking that we would probably be too full to eat them, but you know what? It's our first time here. We've got to explore a little bit. One of the appetizers we got was the savory churros, and I did not expect to like these as much as I did. They were so good. The presentation on these was amazing. I actually, however, did not like these at all. I just stuck with those stuffed peppers because I liked those way more than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. I also loved the shrimp that we ordered. I single-handedly almost ate every single one because pretty much everyone ate half of one and shared it and then I ate all the rest of them because they were so good. We also got the Serrano ham with mm -hmm. cantaloupe. This was really good. It was. I think the ham here was better than the ham over at Haleo. However, we also ordered the tomato bread. And while it was good, I liked the tomato bread at Haleo mm -hmm. better than the tomato bread here at Toledo. For an entree, I got the hanger steak, which was cooked very well, had a little bit of char on there, some fingerling potatoes, great flavor. Mm -hmm. However, I was pretty full at this point, so I kind of <laughs> tasted everything and then boxed that up because there's no way I'm finishing it all. I ordered the bone-in pork chop, which sounded really good. However, the flavors were really weird. I did not enjoy this at all, which made me really sad because it looked amazing. The presentation was great. I don't know why I didn't like it. I just didn't. The server was extremely kind though. They're like, let me get you something else. I'm like, no, it's okay. I'm like, no, really, we want you to have a good time here. So they did take it back and I ended up getting the red wine braised chicken just like my sister did. I had tasted some of her, so I knew I liked it. It was very good. The flavors mm -hmm. were just delicious together. So perfect. And of course, you know we had to try the dessert because we've really enjoyed all the food this evening. We have to try dessert. They had a chocolate dessert and I had to order it. The Cafe Con Leche. This was basically a chocolate puff with chocolate mousse on top, a lot of chocolate, very mm -hmm. sweet, but oh my goodness, I really enjoyed it. This was actually a little much for everyone else, so I basically got my own dessert to myself. Yeah, there was a lot of chocolate going on there. They had a special Toledo chocolate tapas bar that they made. It was essentially a chocolate bar with little flavor drops all along it that you can kind of progress through, trying the different flavors like coffee and lemon curd, things like that. 
The problem with it though is that it's really small and it's kind of meant for one person and mm -hmm. we were trying to share. I mean, we were all really full, but we weren't that full that we couldn't eat an entire dessert. So probably should have gotten a couple of these. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it because it was a lot of different flavors and it was kind of a nice way to end the meal. It wasn't as rich and heavy as Alyssa's was, but even though I shared, it was still a great way to end mm -hmm. a pretty great meal. I wouldn't say this is my favorite as far as Haleo versus this place, but it's really close. I'd have a hard time deciding. We finished up here at Toledo and headed back to our room. One thing we had noticed earlier in the room is that they have robes here. And naturally we have to compare these to Grand Floridian because we did not like the robes at Grand Floridian. So we put these on just to see what we thought. These were so soft and so comfortable. Grand Floridian really needs to talk to Coronado Springs mm -hmm. about where they got the robes because these are so much nicer than the ones over at Grand Floridian. At this point, we are incredibly full, incredibly happy. We've had an amazing day, a lot of fun exploring, looking for hidden Mickeys, eating all day long, which was awesome. So this is the end of our day today, and we'll see you tomorrow. For our year with the ears.